welcome to this week's music time. It's time to say hello. It's time to say hello. Say hello to everyone. It's time to say hello. Hi everyone. Hello singing Ted. Hi buddy. They say hello back. Shall we sing our new hello song? Shall we? Oh, they'd love to sing that with you. Let's get them out, shall we? It goes like this, remember? I sing my bit and then you're going to sing with Buddy and Ted. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Fantastic! What's that you said? Buddy thinks you've remembered it really well from last week. Fantastic! Do you remember what the second verse was? Oh, hang on. Singing Ted remembers. That's it! Hello everyone, hello. Hello everyone, hello. Hello everyone, hello. Hello everyone, hello. Fantastic! What beautiful singing you've been doing. Hello everybody, whether you're at home or at school. Welcome and we hope you enjoy a fantastic sing with us today. We are carrying on with our spring theme. We have got some warm ups to more of the Vivaldi spring that we looked at and listened to last week. And we've got a brand new action song called Spring in My Toes. Just as well, we're going to do a nice jumping around warm up because that's going to require some jumping around too. So get yourselves ready and let's get going with this week's Music Big Sing! For our warm-up today, we're going to be moving along to the Vivaldi Concerto Spring, like last week. But this time, instead of the first movement, we're going to be moving to the third movement, which you may remember is also a fast one. If you remember within the three sections, it goes a fast, a slow, a fast. And this one is the Allegro. Let's have a bounce and feel that pulse. It's quite skippy, like the spring, isn't it? Let's tap the pulse. Can't not smile when I listen to this. ourselves warmed up shall we? Heads down and up, that's right. Side, side, that's it. Fantastic. Shoulders up and down and up and down. Springy, spiky, red 
around and moving around with that Vivaldi has got me very energized and ready to do some lovely lovely singing. I hope you enjoyed it too. I did cut it a little bit short there just because it goes on for another couple of minutes. If you really 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 want to be able to dance to the whole thing and freestyle it out right to the end I will pop this music on the end of the video today and you can have another move around to it then. But for now we're going to move on to our song. This week's new song is called Spring In My Toes and it's by a composer called Nikki Davis. She wrote the words, the lyrics and the music. The instructions say to sing it with a swing and you will see from the lyrics, from the words, that there are going to be some fairly logical actions that go with all of it. But before we can start adding things like that, we should learn the song. So, the first bit goes like this. And that is it. It's a very simple one to sing. We've just got to remember when to sing all of those bits and which actions to do when. Apart from that, it's great. So the first bit goes like this. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. Can you try that? Off you go. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. And we sing the word spring three times there which could, if we sang it all the same, be a little bit boring, couldn't it? So what I want you to do is make that word spring sound like a bouncy spring. And I'd like you to make each one a little bit stronger than the one before. So don't start off too loud or you'll have nowhere to go. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. Did you see each one got a little bit more exciting and a little bit more energetic? It just keeps it a bit interesting. Okay, should we try that again? Off we go. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. That's the first phrase or musical sentence. The next bit goes. So it's the same rhythm, isn't it? And the words are the same too. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. But you might have noticed the melody or the notes are not quite the same. This time the spring is a little bit higher than the first time round. So we're going up another step, okay? That's the first phrase. The next one goes. So let's practice that second phrase. We'll go a little bit higher. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. And the same thing applies about making those springs sound a little bit more interesting, a little bit more energised every time we sing it. OK, let's put those two bits together from the beginning. Remember, I'll sing Off We Go and then we'll go. Off we go. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. What comes next? More springing, I imagine. <laughs> no, the next bit goes. I'm skipping along, singing a song. I'm skipping along, singing a song. And the music does make you feel like you want to skip, doesn't it? Ready? So it goes. I'm skipping along, singing a song. Try that. Off we go. I'm skipping along, singing a song. And then the last bit goes. I've got a spring in my toes. I've got a spring in my toes. So it comes down the stairs and it finishes off the song, ready to go into the next verse. Okay, so let's put that whole first verse together now, see how we get on, okay? Remember the first bit? Have a think. Remember it, Ted? Buddy? 
I've got a spring. That's right. Okay, so I'll say off we go and we'll get going. Off we go. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. I'm skipping along, singing a song. I've got a spring in my toes. Wonderful singing. You sound amazing. And I love how you made those springs sound so bouncy. Well done. When we've got to that bit, we go back to the beginning and we sing it again. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. I've got a spring, spring, spring in my toes. But this time round, instead of skipping, second verse, we go. I'm hopping along, singing a song. I've got a spring in my toes. And each time we get to that bit there, the first time we're, I'm skipping along. The second time round it's, I'm hopping along. The third time round it's going to be, I'm jumping along. And the last time it's going to be, I'm running along. So you can imagine what the actions are going to be like. We'll work out how we do those all together in a minute. But that is actually the structure of the whole song. It starts with the chorus. We've then got the verse, back to the chorus, back to the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. It's pretty standard. We know how these things go, don't we? There is a little bit of music at the beginning. We call that the, yes, introduction. It's the bit that tells us how fast the music's going to be. It reminds us a lot of the time how the tune goes. It gives us our starting notes and it gives us a chance to go, oh yes, it's that song. We know where to start and get into it. And at the very end, there's just a very tiny ending after verse four when we've been running that shows that is the end of the song. Boom, boom. So when we get to the end, remember to hold your last pose. Spring in my toes. Perhaps we'll do a, a little shape at the end. We'll decide that in a minute. OK, time to put it with the accompaniment. <laughs> Wonderful singing and fantastic actions. Well done, all of you. You must be very tired now. Make sure that you are sitting down. I'm afraid whilst we're sitting down, it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. I know, Buddy and Ted, it's gone very quickly today, hasn't it? But do you know what? The next time, the next time we have a singing session with all these lovely children, we will actually be all in the room together. I'm so excited. I've only got to wait seven days, but I hope they go really, really quickly. And I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to go now. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to go now. I must say you've made my day. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye. See you very, very soon. <laughs>